guys welcome to rapturous house my name is tanya i hope you all are doing absolutely absolutely wonderful today's reading is going to be for my virgos my virgos dealing with a fire sign that's an aries leo or sagittarius okay i do want to thank you all i want to thank you all for all your likes all your comments all of your shares they're all greatly greatly appreciated if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so that way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos in this fire sign, this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What's going on with my Virgos in this fire sign, Spirit? Oh, spy. A lot of spying going on. A lot of spying going on. Hmm. Some of you guys, you're trying to figure this person out. You're trying to figure out what's going on with this person. You're trying to figure this person out. Hmm. Sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Some of you guys, you may be questioning. You may be questioning certain things about this person's sexuality. Some of you guys, you and this person, y'all may be exploring your sexuality together. There's something about exploration. There's something about trying some new things. Some of you guys, you and this fire sign, y'all could truly, truly be trying some new things. Some of you guys, you could be really, really spying on this person to see who this person is messing with. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Massive energy. Massive energy. I feel like I feel like you guys. Hmm, I don't know why I just heard somebody met their match. It says lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Upheaval and transformation. So you guys, you may you may you may be searching. Somebody may be searching and somebody's going to find out something that they may not want to find out. There's some type of truth here. There's some type of news, type of surprise. There, something could actually turn your world upside down. There's something about, there's something that you may find out with this Aries Leo Sagittarius. And this may actually turn your world upside down. Somebody here, you wasn't expecting what you were getting from this person. You were not expecting what you were, what you're getting from this person. No. Golden Mare, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship in love bombing. I'm telling you, some of you guys, you, you're trying to figure out what's going on with this person. There's some, there's some shocking, I don't know why I would say some shocking shit. Like, some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody that's very much so self-absorbed. I'm getting somebody that they may look real good and they may be highly sexual. This person may look real good. They may be highly sexual. For some of you guys, this person could be bisexual. Or there could, there could be something. There some, could be some surprise around this person's sexuality. Some of you guys, you and this person, y'all can explore sexuality. There's a lot of exploration with sexuality. It says hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Some of you guys, you may want to work on something with somebody. But it's, I feel like this person... I feel like you may be trying to talk to this person. This person is kind of holding back. There's something here about you wanting to, you, you guys may be wanting to work on a connection, wanting to rebuild a connection with this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like somebody is sabotaging this connection. I feel like somebody here, it's like you feel like this person is purposely sabotaging this connection. I feel, yeah, I do. I feel like somebody is like purposely sabotaging the connection. Show me. It says addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a, has a block, restraint. Some of you guys, you could have blocked this person or this person could have blocked you. I feel like somebody could have actually gone a little crazy. I feel like somebody could have actually gone a little, a little overboard. There, there could be like, a codependency and obsession here. Somebody could have gone a little overboard. Now, the thing about it is, <laughs> some of you guys, yes, it could be this Aries Leo Sagittarius, but I do feel my Virgo's energy. Somebody here, this is not for all my Virgos. Somebody here, this is you. 
you built up some type of attachment to this fire sign. I feel like my Virgo, you have, you've built up some type of a, a, attachment to this fire sign. It's borderline something different. It is borderline something different. Some of you guys, this could definitely be this fire sign, whereas this person themselves, they may have an addiction. And this person, I feel like somebody here, I feel like this person may take from you at times. That's what I'm kind of getting in this energy, like somebody here that may take from you at times, somebody that's very aggressive. I'm getting an aggressive energy for somebody here. I'm getting a very much so aggressive energy. You may have had to put a restraining order against this person. You may have had to block this person, but this person is very possessive. I feel like some, somebody here, this person may just kind of show up, but I feel like why? Because I feel like you've given this person a few, you've given this person some chances here. You've given this person some chances, you're giving this person some chances I feel like there's something about this person keeps coming back and there's some there could be some true love bombing here but there's some there's some news coming out there's some shocking news coming out and what is this news that's coming spirit what's this news that's coming I like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting and want to date you hmm so this person, this person actually likes you. This person may act a certain type of way with you, but this person actually likes you. This person actually wants to be with you. But why is this person acting like that with you if that's what they're wanting? Why is this person acting like that though if that's what they're wanting from my Virgo spirit? Why is this fire sign acting like that? breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment and abandonment this person has this person is toxic this person is toxic this is almost like giving me a feeling of somebody wanting to break up with you before you break up with them somebody here that they it's like they want to get their lick back before you get your lick back like they want to get their lick before you get your lick back that's kind of what i'm getting in this energy some of you guys there's a pattern between you and this person it's an on and off again for some of you guys. This is an on and off again. This person may give you the silent treat, but this person may go go cold on you at some at times. And I feel like you guys are trying to figure things out. There's a lot of chemistry and passion between you and this person, though. There's a lot of chemistry and passion between you and this fire sign. But for some of you guys, there's an addiction that there's an there's an addiction here that's coming in between you and this person. There could be sexual addiction. There could be a sexual addiction here as well. There could truly, truly be a sexual addiction that's causing issues between you and this person. Somebody here, you may find out certain things by actually researching, like researching this person online, going through this person's phone, or even going through this person's social media. Massive energy. Let's see. So we have the Ace of Swords. Talks about lack of clarity, Seven of Diamonds. Not sure that if you invest in this, this is going to give you back a return. And we have the five of swords. You're tired of conflict and the trauma, and the and the you're tired of fussing, fighting. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of fussing and fighting, and you're tired of the drama with this person. You don't you don't have hope in getting a return on your investment in this connection. You you don't you don't trust this person. There's a lack of trust in this connection. There is a lack of trust in this connection or just a lack of clarity, like what's really and truly going on. And I feel like you're trying to figure out what's really and truly going on because you're, you just, you're just not sure. You're just not sure. Five of crystals. See, I told you, you guys, you want change, but there's a, it's almost like how can things change if I don't know what needs to be worked? on that's kind of what i'm getting in that energy like not wanting to fuss and fight anymore not wanting to compete anymore not wanting to fuss and fight not wanting to compete anymore the empress wanting to be treated the way that somebody here you could be pregnant somebody here you could be pregnant for this person and this person could be doing you all kinds of ways three of cups in the reverse there could be someone else here involved but this is like you guys wanting, some of you guys may want to work things out with this person. 
but it's like this person is seven of cups with the will of fortune so i do see what you guys you want change you want change you do you want change with this person you have options this person has options you have options this person has options i feel like there's a turning point for you guys i feel like some of you guys are going to wash your hands with this person i feel like some of you guys if you haven't done it already there's something about you, you you're going to want to wash your hands with this person because there's like not not seeing a return not wanting the drama not wanting the fussing and fighting not wanting to deal with third party energy like i feel like something that was once celebrated there's a change in this connection there's something that has changed with you and this person there's something about this person that has changed for some of you guys yes this person could be very attractive this person could be very sexually fluent for some of you guys but i feel like you you're ready for positive change you're ready for a change i feel like you guys are, are absolutely ready for a change and that change may or may not be with this person but I feel like there's a big part of you guys that wants this person to get themselves together or figure out what they want because you don't know what they want and you don't know how to fix this. You don't know how to fix this person. And I feel like you're, I don't even feel like you guys really truly want to try. I feel like you've, you're kind of the point of wanting to wash your hands with this person. That's what I'm really truly kind of getting in this energy. Yeah. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time, bye guys.